Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mr. Dancy Pants, and today we are bringing you another tutorial video. This one for the basketball hoop knot. Now before we begin, I want you to go down, find the subscribe button if you haven't already, go ahead and click that, and then click the notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload a new video, and it lets me know that this is the kind of content that you enjoy. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and take down the knot, take off the vest, and we'll begin. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. So we're going to start this knot with our blade on our right, our tail on our left, and our tip of our blade is going to be about four fingers above our belt line, but this is very adjustable based on your torso length or the uh, circumference of your neck. So what we're going to do is we are going to fold the tail in or the blade in on itself and then back to form our crease and we're going to bring that to the center button line right here. Now we're going to take our tail, we're going to bring it over the front, behind the back, and up through the center. Now we're going to kind of tighten that a little bit, bring it down the right side, behind the tie to the left, and we're going to bring that back up through the front. Now you want to make sure that that stays fairly tight. We're going to bring it on back down. Now we're going to take the tail and bring it back over to our right side and we're going to bring it across the front. This can stay a little bit looser because we're going to need some play in this in just a moment. We're going to bring it around the back and then go from left to right one more time. Now what we're going to do is fold the tail in half and you have two options here. You can either have the crease on top or you can have the separation on top. I like the crease on top, I think it makes a cleaner look, but you can do it either way. Now we're going to bring it from right to left over top of that first cross piece, the one that we kept a little bit of space in. Now we're going to place our finger here and I would recommend actually putting it in that, that first loop because we're going to loop it in front, going from left around in front to the right. Just like that. And then we're going to bring it back the way it started from right to left. So if you look, we've got this loop appearing right here. Now what we're going to do is bring this back behind the knot, up and over. Now you can see it already kind of wants to go down the center, so we're going to go ahead and thread it through the loop that we made, through that hoop, just like that, and then we're going to thread it through that first cross piece that we put our finger in to make the hoop in the first place. So we just thread that right on through. Now here's where we have to massage it just a little bit. So to tighten this first cross piece, all right, you want to make sure that it's good and flat, and then you open the hoop a little bit. Now to tighten the hoop, you pull down here, and that helps secure that hoop in place. It will shrink it a little bit because the hoop is this, this up and over bit, so you can re-expand the hoop simply by opening it up and kind of tugging at the same time. So this is where it's adjustable. You see how much space I've got left. I can make this, uh, I can make this longer simply by pulling it back and then expanding the hoop like that. So I can, I can make that hoop bigger 
as needed. Now, we're going to take the tail here and we're going to wrap it around the back of the tie through this first cross loop right there. Now, it should be tight enough that you can see right here, it just tucks in behind the blade. And if you have enough to tuck it back through the loop on the back, you can, but you run the risk of getting this little bit kind of coming out like that and it looks messy. So I would place it between the collar and the first button of your shirt. So this shirt has it here, some of them will have it down here somewhere. You just tuck it straight in through there and that helps to hide it and create a cleaner look. So you just tuck it on back there. It also helps keep the tie from shifting around too much. So now we just massage the knot, get it into the right shape, and then lower the collar. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the basketball hoop knot. This works really well for solid colored ties, striped ties, ties with either large or small patterns. Also works really well for dual colored ties where the blade and the tail are two separate designs. If you like what you saw here, leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and share it with your friends if you think this is something that they might enjoy. As always, stay safe and take care. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. And then one of the many things that give you that zip-top feeling is the pleasure of being well-dressed.